Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Advice. Today, we're going to talk about the things that are lowering your testosterone that you're doing, your bad habits that are lowering your testosterone. All right, so, and I know when you add extra in, that lowers your natural production. Okay, that's just a given, okay? We're going to go from there. If you are already on TRT, okay, so you already got an outside source coming in, so that's going to affect your natural production. Bottom line, there's no way around it. It's gonna happen. If you're on the fence and you haven't started yet and you wanna to try to do some things to up, or if you're already on TRT and you wanna do some things to not hamper yourself, so here we go. The first one, sunlight, okay? Sunlight, being in the sunlight produces, naturally produces vitamin D, which is a go, give and take, go with testosterone usage and testosterone metabolism okay you got low on vitamin d you're gonna be you ain't gonna be able to simulate your testosterone natural production or outside source as well so sunlight just simple sunlight get out of the basement get off the couch get outside and get a little sunlight every day it will help okay all right if you're here right now like share and subscribe smash that bell Hit that bell to be told when new ones come out. Hit that like button. How about the channel, all right? All right, the next one is um, structural stress, okay? Structural stress, if you're like I do every day, which is not good for my natural, is I actually have a job. I'm, you can tell I'm sitting in a chair right now, and my night gig is sitting in a chair working for a credit card company in... Uh, in the fraud department and so i'm sitting the rest of the time i'm up moving daylight sunlight working in the garage working at the house doing yard work things like that but for 45 hours 50 hours of the week i'm sitting on a desk at a computer just like i'm doing now and that's not good bad posture causes stresses on your body this is not natural for the human body to be sitting like this for hours and hours and hours and hours. Whether you're working at a computer, whether you're gaming, whatever it is, it's bad posture, bad mechanics cause stress. And stress affects your ability to assimilate your testosterone level and it affects your testosterone level, okay? Number three, physical activity boosts your natural production. All right, now, yes, whether it's walking, running, playing, fishing, hunting, exercising, weightlifting, bicycling, whatever it is, physical activity does up your natural use and possibly your natural production, okay? And all of this is the majority of you. Some of you, this won't work. Some of these things that we're going to go through will not work for you, but the majority of you, this will help if you already have issues. Along with the physical activity is obesity. Being overweight affects your hormone levels. Bottom line, there's no way to argue it. Being overweight affects your levels. No matter if you're male or female. Uh, whether it's testosterone or estrogen, being overweight affects your hormone levels. It just does. Medically proven. You can argue with me about it all you want, but it's true. If you are overweight, every 10 pounds hurts a little bit. Okay? Okay. The other biggie is plastics. Okay? The things that leach from plastics. Plastic water bottles, plastic... Tupperwares, anything you use out of plastic. Most of you, most times you'll see like the competitive bodybuilders and competitive um, athletes. They're not drinking out of plastic. They're drinking out of glass, or they're drinking out of something that's proven. It's a different, you know, a high dollar type of that's proven not to leach the chemicals it does. And I think you know, I if you, I work with a bunch of eighteen year olds. Okay. So I know how many bottles they go through a day. I've seen it at my job. 
they don't do anything but drink out of plastics. And these 18-year-olds these days that are coming out of high school, they don't look like they have any testosterone in their system at all. There's no muscle. There's no tone. There's no, they're gray. You know, their skin is bad. I mean, it's, it's kind of sad, which goes along with no plastics, a bad diet, okay? There's three things that they say are the worst for you besides the plastics, the leaching, the chemicals in the plastics. First one is soy products, which is in a ton of stuff because everything these kids want to eat or everything we're eating these days has chemicals in, added to it, okay? Soy products are just so bad for you, all right? The other one is dairy and fried foods, okay? Dairy, a lot of it. I'm from Wisconsin. I like my cheese. I have cheese every day, okay? But I only have an ounce or two of cheese a day. I don't have 10, 15 ounces of cheese a day. I don't drink milk. Uh, well, I don't drink. I probably ain't had a glass of milk in five years. But I have milk products in like biscuits at home, uh, breads. You know, there's some products that we buy a little two cup thing of milk and it takes us a couple weeks to use it when the wife is baking. That's about the majority. I get a little bit of milk and I get my one or two ounces of cheese a day. Okay. But if you're doing large amounts of dairy, it can have detrimental effects to your testosterone levels, your natural production. All right. And fried foods. And that's all the peanut, soybean, laxseed, flaxseed, all these different oils that are just poison to your system okay if it's not extra virgin all extra virgin olive oil or macadamia nut oil it's not good for you the only other thing i would say was would be even better beneficial would be it just plain old lard or bacon grease and bacon grease has some additives to it too but bacon grease has had most of them if you culture if you if you store it correctly and collect it correctly, bacon grease can be a dynamite uh, oil source. Uh, but anything else besides the bacon, uh, beef tallow, extra virgin olive oil, macadamia nut, they're all just poisons to you. They are going to ruin your system. You've been lied to for 50 years from from the food industry, those oils, that whole row, that whole rack of oils that's at the Walmart that's supposed to be good for you is poison. All right, next, sleep. And I know you guys that have watched me for a long time have heard me preach on this forever. Sleep is so very, very, very important, okay? Testosterone with outside source can make you actually sleep deeper and sleep better. You know, apnea has to be uh, dealt with uh, because you're older and I'm probably a little bit overweight. Uh, but sleep, good, solid sleep is so important to your own production. It's, it's, it, it should have been on top of the list. It should have been on the top of the list. I should have put that number one, sleep. Because without good sleep, you're not resting, you're not recuperating, you're not recovering, you are not healing. You are just pounding over and over and over and over again, day after day after day, just beating the shit out of your body if you don't rest. Okay. Next one is hydration. First thing I do when I get up in the morning, and I know this is plastics, but I mean, it's this uh, little higher dollar one, but I drink one of those. That's 24 ounces of water every morning. When I get up, when you get up, you're dehydrated because you've gotten up a couple times or at least once a time like me. I get up like once usually about 4 o'clock to pee because I'm drinking liquids all day long. I drink water and I drink tea and I have one cup of coffee a day. One. And that's one cup of coffee that I brew with my Keurig at home. That's my power coffee. You guys have seen that video. Check that one out. But before I do that, while I'm taking my vitamins, I drink that 24 ounces of water. That's not bottled water. That's out of the tap. And I know there's a bunch of junk in the tap water, but you know what? I have had it for 55 years. I might as well keep going with it. 
because right now I don't have any health issues. I don't have anything going on, no heart, no arthritis, no nothing. Believe it or not, 55 years old, I ain't got no arthritis. And I've used these hands as a welder and as a mechanic, and I beat on them, and I use them a lot, but no arthritis. None. I had a full bone scan. I ain't got any arthritis deposits in my whole body, 55 years old. And I know I'm not the norm. I don't know what I did right or whose ass I kissed in heaven before I was born, but I'm I'm totally blessed. I truly, truly am. But when you're dehydrated, you're getting headaches, you're not feeling good, you, it's just, it's the more water you can drink, the better. Especially for anything else, stress-wise, if your body's under stress, if it's dehydrated, but that's, okay, that's the whole main point. It's stress. If your body is under stress, cortisol is created. Stresses are created. Stress affects everything in your system, including your hormone production. Uh, heavily. Okay, so if you're stressed about things, your body is stressed, you got bad posture, your diet is stressed, your gut biome is stressed, and you don't feel good and everything is stressed, of course your hormone levels are going to be down. Of course they are. Okay, and I'm going to step on some toes on this one, this last one. Okay, alcohol and tobacco. Moderate use alcohol and tobacco doesn't seem, from what I've read, this is just from what I've read. I'm not medically trained. I'm not a doctor. It's just, but I can read. Okay. And I have a job where I'm in the office and I can spend a couple hours a day studying this. This. Um, I've been quit tobacco for 23 years. I haven't had a cigarette, anything nicotine wise for 23 years. Um, but I still like, especially after like now in the Oklahoma area, it's, it's 100 plus degrees now with 100% humidity. Once I get done mowing the lawn or weed eating or doing whatever I got to do outside, a cold one tastes good. But I have a couple of cold ones. I don't have a 12 pack of cold ones. Um, we have cocktail stuff in, in the house. I have a, a drink or two in the evening to relax. I don't have 10 drinks to relax. Okay. Moderate consumption of alcohol doesn't seem to, by the studies, have much of an effect. Heavy consumption does, okay? So, if you're drinking heavy, if you're eating wrong, if you're not exercising, and you're not getting any sunlight, then your testosterone levels are gonna be in the dumper. But, if you exercise regularly, if you eat right, if you get daylight, if you mildly consume alcohol or tobacco, it can't do nothing but help your levels, including when you're taking it from an outside source. Right? So, I'd like to thank all of you guys for being here, my tribe. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already by If you're still watching this, like, share, and subscribe. Smash that bell. Be told when uh, new stuff comes out. Hit that like button. Check out the links down below. Y'all have a great day. Because it's a great day today. And a couple little changes. It'll be a higher testosterone level tomorrow. Y'all be good.